All right, again, another uh, check your understanding assignment here if program is number two. So if you click on the document there, there's another set of three problems, a user login assignment, caught speeding assignment, and a max number assignment. Again, I recommend doing all of them, but you just have to show me show me one of them in my checklist. Okay, the first one, user login, it's, a, it's not a valid login form, but it's just a practice if statement. Um, this form should accept a single administrator login, right? So there's only one valid login, which is admin and 1234, okay? And you either tell them invalid username, invalid password, or login successful. Okay, invalid username, it doesn't matter if the password is right or not, it's going to say invalid username. If the username is correct, but the password's not, it'll say invalid password, and if they're both correct, it'll say login successful. And I have that here, right? If I type in admin1234, login successful. Um, if I misspelled the username, it'll say invalid username, whether the password's right or not, right? Still invalid username. If the username is correct, but the password is wrong, then it'll say invalid password. But if the password is correct, we log in. Okay. Now, I actually remember reading an article where this isn't actually the best security way to, or secure way to do this, because you're giving people information about whether it's a valid username or not. So technically, I think it is best to just say successful login or not. But I want you to practice a chain selection statement, right? There's three possible outcomes. So I want you to do one of those if, else, if, else type chain selection statements to practice if statements. Okay, so this is not a valid user login form, but still good practice for your if statements. All right, the next one is a caught speeding um, app here. You can imagine you're a police officer and you enter the driver's speed and what the speed limit was in the area they were driving. Hit determine ticket and it tells you whether you get a big ticket, small ticket, or no ticket. Okay, basically if you're going the speed limit or under the speed limit, you get no ticket. If you're going less than 20 over the speed limit, you get a small ticket. But if you're going 20 or more over, you would get a big ticket. Okay, and again here I've got an example if I'm going you know, 80 in an 80 zone, that's no ticket. But if I'm going 90 in an 80 zone, that's a small ticket. If I'm going 99 in an 80 zone, that should still be a small ticket. But once I'm going 20 over, then I get to the big ticket. And of course, anything above that, big ticket. And then change the zones. Maybe I'm going in a school zone, right? I'm going 35 in a school zone. I get a small ticket. If I'm going 20 over, that's a big ticket. Okay, and of course, if you're going really slow, no ticket. Okay, okay uh, that's the cost speeding one. And again, just uh, three possibilities. So a chain selection statement, right? And then the max number here. Oh, yeah, this is uh, ask the user for three numbers. They can enter any three numbers they want. And then your program should output which one was the largest. Okay, now there is a built-in function called math.max. I don't want you to use that. Um, I want you to practice if statements. So you're going to implement your own little math.max program. So again here, if I type in, you know, 15, 12, and 90, it should give me 90, right? I think this 150, 150 is the maximum number. 1200, 1200 is the maximum number. So yeah, just any number in here, hit that. Uh, if you wanted to challenge yourself, try doing four or five numbers. There is a, there's kind of some different approaches to do this. With three numbers, both approaches are not are basically pretty similar, but if you start doing more numbers, one approach is a lot more efficient than the other one. Anyway, um, three numbers, do if statements to see which one is the largest and output the largest number. Okay, so that's the three little assignments here. Practice those if statements and I hope it goes well. All right, take care.